Letters coming at you. Blast processing, oh my god. Hello, I am Freezing Inferno, and welcome to Let's Play Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Master. Which is actually the fourth Shinobi game, but we'll get to that in a second. Our prologue here is a lot like Revenge of Shinobis. The comparison we'll be making quite a lot, but... Instead, it's just telling you Joe Musashi's cool, and if you fuck up, he disappears forever. So, don't let him disappear forever. This game came out in 1993, and by 1993, the whole 16-bit craze was in full swing. Revenge of Shinobi was a first-gen Genesis game. Heh! <laughs> Puns! So, well, it looked good, but compared to other 16-bit games, it doesn't look that good now. But this one? Oh my god. This is a treat for the eyes. 16-bit ninja action at its finest. Without further delay, let's begin. Oh god. They're back! We beat him in arcade, Shinobi. We beat him in revenge, Shinobi. Now we gotta beat him again. So I guess you can see the three progression. I mean, Shadow Dancer must be the uh, side story then, because Zed's in all three of these. And Shadow Dancer, you were fighting Union Lizard. But this game is a lot like Revenge Shinobi. You can tell it has the same sort of look, but we've got a few great new moves. And I will be showing them off like this. Flying Ninja Jump Kick. But that's not my favorite. My favorite is dashing and slashing. That attack will wreck most enemies. It's pretty goddamn strong. You gotta have a good amount of distance and timing to get it right. But we're a skilled ninja. We've handled Joe Musashi before. We beat Neo Z twice. Well, once in my case, because I have not LP'd Arcade Shinobi. Maybe I should. But right now we're talking about Shinobi 3. Which is a great game. As you can see, it's very, very gorgeous. Oh my good god. This is the prettiest, because, well, 1993, I mean, by then, 16-bit games looked great, as I've said. But now we get to fight some samurais, and with your power shurikens, <laughs> they go down, like, so simply. Usually these guys take three hits, but... <laughs> Uh-oh, it's mini-boss time, and it's a slightly stronger samurai. And his crescent wave thing goes back and forth, but <laughs> simply, simply dealt with. I haven't even shown you all the cool moves Joe Musashi can do yet. They really, really made this game great. Oh, how am I going to get over here? Well, I'll just grab on and swing across. No need to put Spider-Man in this game. Joe Musashi's got enough moves to rival Spider-Man. Well, here's another thing you can do to these dastardly time bombs. You can throw your shurikens at them. This move will become very useful later, I can assure you. Hmm. Well, let's just double jump up there. And... Huh. Well, how are we supposed to... Aha! Samus, eat your heart out. Joe Musashi is a wall jump and ninja son of a bitch. I'm just giddy with all these new moves that you have. It's like a kid on a playground. Which is great. Let's try that dashing. Oh. That didn't work. I was trying to be all cool and slice this guy open, but I did it too early. You gotta be careful when you're using your dash and slash, because it can be tricky. I really, really like this game. I don't know if it's my favorite, but Shadow Dancer was just so good, but this is definitely a contender. This is way better than Revenge of Shinobi. That's why I said at the end of Revenge of Shinobi that the sequels were kind of better. Man, really? That bomb got me from all the way up there? That thing has a huge hitbox. Christ. But yeah, Revenge of Shinobi... Decent, but compared to Shadow Dancer and this, kind of bare bones. But it's boss time. Very reminiscent of Revenge of Shinobi's round one boss. Except he does this spear charge at you. 
Now, throwing shurikens in is the long way. The fast way is getting stabbed. Now, the fast way is dash and slash. Does a ton of damage. And he automatically just dashes at you and you can dodge him. I'm the true master of the dashing and slashing here, you see. Look at that. Almost dead. Well, let's break out the old ninja magic. What have we got? Exactly the same loadout as in Revenge of Shinobi. So let's just use our fire dragons. Karyu. And get rid of this guy. Now, doesn't that look a whole lot flashier? Genesis doing what Nintendo won't. And he's dead. And we get a nice clear screen that shows how we murdered this guy. And that is that. I'll see you next time for Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Master. I'm on a horse.